In previous sessions, we looked at the model layout and the checking layout. Now we're going to focus on presentation layout. So if you remember back, we actually created a new presentation with this slide. And as a refresher, uh, if we wanted to just add a new slide, we can simply uh, set some perspective, hit the new slide icon, and that'll create a new slide that's embedded on this presentation one. So now we can really just easily uh, float between these two views. But we're actually more interested in actually creating a presentation uh, based on the results that we found in the checking tab. So what we'll do here is we can actually hit this click to add new presentation icon. And if I click on that icon, we'll get a presentation name. So we'll just call this results from checking, for instance. And you'll see that there's a conver convert slides from checking results option. So if we check this box, it'll also show the number three. If you remember back, we actually created three slides of three viewpoints in our results or in our checking list and are getting started um, checking. And if we hit OK, we now have a new presentation here called results from checking. We can click on any of these views that have been um, imported from our checking results and we'll see that viewpoint that we created earlier. So we have these columns as well as the comments we've created. We have these walls that uh, essentially tell us that we have an, a small wall embedded within this larger that needs to be removed and also boundary issues here that exist. So these space, these objects, um, these space objects actually are not lined correctly to these uh, walls. We have some basic functionality on this presentation tab. We can actually click on the bottom right, there's a presentation mode, which is really just a full screen uh, mode. So we're just viewing the slides. And we have a automatic, uh, play automatically option. So if we click on that icon, it'll essentially just run this as a slideshow. Um, and if you right click that icon, you have the control over whether or not to just continuously loop it or to uh, change the delay between slides. Of course, if we stop that or pause that, we can also manually go through this slideshow using these forward and back icons. And then, of course, we also have a last slide and a first slide option as well. So I'm going to go back to our uh, normal view. So I'm going to click on that presentation icon again. And really, all this, uh, these presentations we've created are going to stay with the model. So if we publish this as an SMC model or go to File and Save SMC Model, uh, this information is going to stay embedded in this model. But perhaps we want to report this out. So we want to actually share this information with someone. Maybe we don't want to send them the model. Uh, this could be a third party of some kind. You can actually hit this Report icon up in the top left. Um, and when you do that, you're going to get this pop-up. We have some options to create a PDF and an RTF. But we have a coordination report, which is going to be an Excel file. So if we have this checked, and we'll just leave the file name as results from checking, hit OK. This is actually going to generate a report. So you'll see in the bottom right, a creating reports um, dialog will appear, showing us that this is actually working. And when that's finally complete, we will have a Excel sheet here, which will contain a header that, of course, we can edit in Excel, as well as a number list, images that we've created, and the comments, as well as a, a, a column here for notes, any, any sort of uh, notes that may need to be added by that third party. And that concludes our presentation on uh, communication using Solibri Model Checker. Thank you for listening.